guys, I'm Reese, and I'm the winner of Junior Bake Off 2021. Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. So in today's video, I thought I would jump on the trend to give it my own little twist. So there's this little trend going around at the moment where makeup artists try and recreate other makeup artists' makeup looks. Um, so I decided to do that with cakes. So I sent a message to all of the Junior Bake Off contestants and I picked four that I'm going to try and recreate in today's video. So I'm going to show you a picture of every single cake that I have to try and recreate throughout the video. So you guys kind of see the reference and let's get on, let's get on with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be using a lot of different sweets and sprinkles. So I just wanted to show you where I get most of my stuff from. So most of my sprinkles that I get are from an amazing company called Oso Sprinkle, which are on yourbakingcompany.co.uk. I'll put the website link right here. And I also have a code for Reese's Bakes 10 for 10% off your order. But um, on the baking company website, they have a section of their own sprinkle brand, which is Oso Sprinkle. And this is, that is where I get most of my sprinkles from. So here I have a couple of mixes that I'm going to be using in today's video. I'll show you a couple of clips of each one. So I'll be using them throughout today's video. So I'll also be using some lollipops in today's video for a cake that Robbie has uh, sent me. So I've got these really cool PR package that Walks and Candy have kindly sent to me. Um, I'll be leaving their website and Instagram in the description box down below. But I'm just gonna show you a couple of their lollipops that they've sent. We've got some really nice heart ones, some lollipop ones, um, yellow ones. I'll be using a lot of these in the video. So thank you so much Walks and Candy for sending me these amazing treats. And I will definitely be using these on one of my lunchbox cakes. So um, Mandy has sent the first cake. So here's a little picture of what she wanted it to look like. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've already crumb coated these uh, lunchbox cakes. And if you guys want to know how to crumb coat a cake, then make sure you go check out my previous video. It doesn't matter how big the cake is, it's the same thing. You can, that's, that's just how you crumb coat it. So in today's video, I'm going to be final coating them. It is quite tricky. It's a lot harder than it seems to final coat a cake um, as it's this small, but I am going to try. And then I'm going to use these um, Oso Sprinkle from Fetty Sprinkles to decorate the sides and top it off with some strawberries. So I've got Maddie's cake right here, ready to go. So let's start final coating. But where's my palette knife? So I think this is what we've got so far, which is, and it looks good. So now I'm gonna use these sprinkles. I'm just gonna kind of just throw them at the cake. So put some on top, put some. Okay. I'm, never, I'm never really good at this. <gasps> I just think I got it, okay. I'm just use some of these sprinkles and just chuck them on. <laughs> I'm just using my hand like this and I'm trying to um, just literally just chuck them all over the cake. Now this cake has all been sprinkle five, I'm going to add um, the chopped strawberries on top to really finish off this cake, like Maddie said. Now, where are my strawberries? Well, I've got one right here. So I'm just going to chop this strawberry in half and then place them on the cake. And that's it. And make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below if you think I did well on recreating this one. So next cake is Robbie's cake. So I'm gonna post a picture up here. So I am gonna sort of go with it, but I am gonna change it a little bit using the Walks and Candy lollipops. So instead of putting strawberries on top and the lollipops underneath, I'm gonna be putting the lollipops on top. So I'm gonna be covering this cake in pink like Robbie wanted with a blue um, with a blue swirl around the side and then topping it with lollipops. So let's get started on that. But before we want to de decorate Robbie's cake, I need to dye this buttercream pink. So let's dye it. So I've dyed my pink buttercream. So I'm just gonna pop this nice baby pink buttercream on top of this cake. Oh my gosh, this is so fluffy. It's so fluffy I could die. Unicorn, be so fluffy I'm gonna die. So now I'm just going to, just as before in Maggie's cake, just smooth out the sides. So 
So now I've used my piping bag and I've got some nice little swells. Now I'm going to use my little lollipops from Watson and Candy. So I've got so a couple of small ones. I'm going to use probably these three. Um, actually, no. Which one should I use? Let's use the pink one because it will match. Use the blue one because it will match. And then this will add a little pop of colour. So I'm just going to unwrap these. They're so cute. Wolfs and Candy are literally amazing. They're sweets and their sweets and their lollipops are so so great so thank you so much boxing candy and again i will leave their website link and their instagram down below but i was going to use the lollipop sticks perfect and just literally poke them into the cake So again, I will post, um, I'll put a picture up now of what this cake looks like next to Robbie's picture. And you guys let me know in the comments down below of if you think I recreated this cake well. So now we're going to do the next pink cake, which is Erin's. So I'm gonna put a picture up here of what Erin wanted the cake to look like. And we're going to try and recreate it. So I've got my lovely pink color. And I'm just going to place this on top of the cake. This is the final cake. So, okay, it does, it does, it does look great. It's very horrendous, but I'm just gonna top it off with sprinkles because sprinkles makes everything better. And then, we should be ready to go. So, I feel like this cake has, why does it look on camera? Does that look good? It doesn't look too shabby, I think. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. I think this is the worst cake I've ever made online. Actually, that's a lie. The worst cake I've ever made was Fault Line Day. Oh my gosh, that was a horrendous day on Bake Off. Um, actually, that gives me a little bit of a thought. If you guys would ever like to see me like bake and do a Q&A at the same time, because um, I've seen that thing going around at the moment, and I, I think it's really interesting because you can see what someone's doing as well as have a nice conversation with them. So if you guys would ever like me to do that, then do let me know. So now we're moving on to Sophia's cake, which is like a really nice sunset vibe with like a henna pattern on the side, which I've never done before, but I am gonna try. So here is the picture. Um, and I've got my four different colors of ombre orange buttercream, starting from a really dark like coral orange to a nice uh, bright yellow. And we're gonna try and do that. And then I think the hardest part is going to be the henna pattern. So with ombre, you can either start with the darkest at the top or the, or the lightest at the top. I like to do the darkest at the top. So using your piping bag, this is a very quick tutorial, and then you just want to go around the sides. With... So you want to be very gentle and just slowly smooth it out. The air bubbles have kind of disappeared a little bit. And I still see all the colours, see? And now, I'll give you guys a quick look. You, you can still see all those lovely colours. Oh my gosh. I'm about to cream in a very, very, very small, as you can see. It's a very, very small piping tip. And I'm just going to try and just start piping henna patterns all over this cake. So here are the four completed lunchbox cakes. I'll show you guys a little clip of all of the pictures and the videos afterwards. But we've got, um, let's start with Maddie's cake. This feels a bit like, you know, um, what's it called? James Corden, spill your guts or fill your guts. That's what it feels like. But, but I, I think like, this would be the nicer version. But so we've got Maddie's cake, which again, I'll pop up here. I think I recreated this one pretty well. Uh, we've got Safia's cake which again, I'll give you a little picture of what it was meant to look like and what it does look like. 
Um, I think I did okay. I've never really done the pattern that she wanted me to do before. It's a little bit messy, but I think that these, but these little lunchbox cakes are meant to be a little small and messy and they're a little bit on the rustic side. Um, and then we've got Robbie's cake, um, which is pink with a blue trim and the Walkston candy um, lollipops. And we've got, last but not least, Erin's cake, which is a nice, simple, like very classic lunchbox cake with lots of strawberries and a drip. But before I finish all of these cakes, I've got one more cake that I need to put some sprinkles on. Um, which is this Oso Sprinkles new sprinkle which I just ordered, which is called So Fetch, which is inspired by Mean Girls, which I absolutely love. And just sprinkle them all over the top of the cake, just to give it a little bit more oomph. That is it. So here are all the completed lunchbox cakes. You guys put in the comments down below how you think the video went and how um, great the cakes did look. Thanks again for all of you for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video. Thank you so much, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Bye.